I got him. The eagle has landed. The eagle landed. Freedom! Freedom! Ocean is attempting to catch the rat by hand using a glove. Sleep with food in your hand and you're just gonna go. Psh. Is that the plan? Pretty nice views for all our mattresses here. There she comes. Ooh, it's middle <laughs> This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. We had spent the last few days exploring some of the most lost places of the Solomon Islands and taking Sylvia through landscapes that would challenge any paradise that you could ever paint with your own imagination. Now we were finishing our journey through the Mboli Passage, which would spit us out on the other side of the two islands and leave us just a few miles away from our next destination. And as usual, things on Sylvia were a bit unusual. What's up, princess? My life force is in jeopardy. My beautiful, beautiful mane, my man mane, is in jeopardy of... I think I caught the Molly syndrome. Snorlea is trying to save it as best she can. I don't need any just cut your hair comments. It's not gonna happen. This is a hardcore duty, you know? I, I think I will raise my demands <laughs> because this is worth it more than a shot of Bailey's. That's all I got for the camera. What you doing, Jordan? Trying to teach Peanut a trick. I read in my pig book that one of the easiest tricks for them to learn is to twirl, like to spin in a little circle. And I've been using papaya as a reward. And we're making a pretty big mess, and she's not learning the trick. <laughs> I'll show you our progress so far. Come here, Peanut. Peanut, twirl. Twirl. I don't think she has any idea what's going on. She's just eating snacks. <laughs> and she's like covered in papaya, especially like underneath here. Oh my god. You did a pretty good job. You tried a little bit. Okay. Making our arrival into Tulagi. Tulagi is one of the main hubs of the Florida Islands and the capital of the central province. And for divers, it's an access point to the Iron Bottom Sound, a corner of the ocean made famous by its staggering concentration of World War II era shipwrecks. We'll get to that in another episode, but today, we were about to dive one of the underwater crown jewels of the Solomon Islands. And to make things even more special, we're taking John on his first scuba dive. Ah! Yeah. Where are we going? We are going to Twin Tunnels. It's these two holes that go deep. Don't worry, we're not taking John yes. into them, but we're taking them him right up to the edge so he can look into them. Twin Tunnels, supposed to be, it's like actually one of the most famous dive sites in this area, which is kind of uncommon being that this is where all the wrecks are. Is this or is it this vaulted ceiling are you ready, John? Yeah, I'm ready to get down in the water and try my best to land with the scuba dive. Yeah! We okay. just went over all of the, the skills that we're going to be doing on our way down. So he's doing what's known as like a discover dive or a try dive. Okay, John, go ahead and put your regulator in. Okay, whenever you're ready. Once John got his sea legs, we started exploring some of the shallow reefs that surrounded the twin lava tubes that we would later descend into. As we were starting to become accustomed to in the Solomon Islands, the reef was teeming with life and bursting with color. If the outside of the tunnels was any indication of what we would find inside, we had something really special in store for us. We 
we began making our descent into the depths of the lava tube. It felt like a fantasy to look up towards the beaming light above us, dotted with the silhouettes of sea fans and bubbles. We had seen plenty of lava tubes that were parallel to the seafloor while diving in Hawaii, but this was the first one that I'd ever seen that went straight down, and we were only halfway to the bottom. We didn't have much time to explore around the bottom of the lava tube, since it was quite deep at about 40 meters or 120 feet. So we needed to make our way out through the large exit and start ascending up a sheer wall and back to the reef where we began. Good. Diving is very good things. There are still a lot of uh, different flowers in the water. Yeah. So it's very perfect. <laughs> what that was is your my... favorite thing that you saw? Oh, I, my favorite because there are still lots of beautiful flowers and all the fish and more fish. First time in my life I saw all these oh. things. So that is my best time today in my life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Do we know that we have a rat? No, you know how we, that we have a rat in the boat. Well, last night I slept upstairs with Peanut. I was laying on the floor right here with my mattress. And I felt something run across my legs, but then Peanut was sort of by my legs too. So I was like, I didn't think it was her, but I was just telling myself, oh, it was just Peanut moving. And then maybe an hour later, Peanut was laying by my head and then I felt it again. I felt something running across my legs and I was like, oh. and then I heard something fluttering of feet in Peanut's food box right there. And then at one point a broom fell over in the night and I thought for sure there's gotta be a mouse on the boat. And then in the morning, I went to go take the filter off of our water and I saw a little mouse poop outside. So we suspected that we had a, an unwanted guest and then just now Ocean was out the front moving stuff to get a hose and we saw it, the flash of the body of what seemed, might be a really large rat. We didn't have a trap or anything on board, so we tried a few unconventional methods of catching it first. Ocean is attempting to catch the rat by hand using a glove and if she succeeds what, what's the what's the deal? I'll buy her a 30 pack of beer. So you're gonna sleep up here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, okay. And I'm gonna have my gloves right on, and a light right on, and with some food okay. over my uh, my bed or so next to my head. No, 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 and when I heard it, like, so you're just gonna, I'm gonna you're gonna sleep with food in your hand, and you're just gonna go. <laughs> is that the plan? <laughs> Peter, we met Peter, he's a really nice guy from Malaita. We borrowed this trap for to trap the our new pet. <laughs> Hopefully we don't catch a peanut. Yeah, peanut, it's we're luckily to get trapped in the middle. <laughs> we're yeah. trying to figure out where we can put it, where the rat would be that peanut wouldn't be able to get to. Yeah. Because for sure we're gonna hear like and then peanut's gonna go running by and then things are gonna be stuck around her. Imagine peanut. Yeah. Perfect head. I think we should name the rat. We could call it jelly, like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> we can call it jelly bean. Yeah, jelly bean. That's a jelly good name. I think it's a good name. Yeah. Jelly bean. Yeah. Ooh, listen to that crackle. We should go and play. I love that. I, I learned this in Tonga. Oh, really? Before jumping in the boat, I stayed in a treasure island where we were swimming with waves. Yeah. And I used to prepare this for the, for the rats in the resort. 
That was one of my jobs. Oh, it's oh, wow, everything that ready. really good. Holy and he's gonna <laughs> if we trap the rat. Come to me, mouse. Yeah. Come to me. What is your bets? If you're a betting man, what would you say the chances are of us catching this rat tonight? Okay. What percentage are we gonna say? I'm gonna go say with 100. Say 100. 100. 100. We're gonna catch that rat. I can believe catch it. Catch that rat. Yeah. Priceless today. Pretty nice views for our mattresses here. There she comes. What are you doing here? Ooh, smell that. Party guy, shorty uh, shorts. Today's a special day. Uh, I actually have a friend coming in from the US. I'm um, like a childhood friend, my friend Pat. So My boy Pat! My boy Pat! <laughs> so Patrick is with no notice. I was like, you know, I hit him up. I'm like, hey, how are you doing? And he's like, good, I'm just kind of bored. I'm like, come see me. And then he messages back 30 minutes later. He's like, well, what if I come in three days? And I was like, what? And, and then 30 minutes later, it's like, I booked my flight. <laughs> Utah yeah. to Solomon Islands, yeah. casually booking a one-way flight to the Solomon Islands. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to head to Haniara um, in the dive dinghy, uh, which is pretty crazy. It's 20 miles across, 20 miles back, but I brought 40 liters of extra fuel. Plus, I've got this dive dinghy full, and I think it's going to be funny to just drive him all the way back here to the Florida Islands and to Tulagi. Anyway, on my way. Bye. Since I'm in town, I thought I would hit the big market. It's kind of like a hustling, bustling place right here in Haniara. And you'd be shocked at what you can get and for the amazing prices too. And it's like all from people's gardens, it goes on every single day. People take boats, they take the banana boats from all the villages here every single day to uh, sell their delicious goodies. Are these avocados? Yeah? Okay. Can I get five of these coconuts and and then five of these? Thank you so much. Is that right? Great. Thank you. Delayed once, three hours, and now it's delayed another time for an hour. My sun's going down. I'm a little bit stressed because I got that 20 mile journey across the ocean. I said ocean, let's see what's happening to me. I've been on this boat too long. Which reminds me that I am actually very excited to just have a little bit of normalcy, like have a good, good friend, a good mate join me, you know? Um, it's been six months living off the grid, living with strangers that are now family. But um, I think that I will really enjoy just having you know, somebody that uh, to laugh about old times and stuff with. So I see a bright light on the horizon, and I think that this is the plane finally coming in. And now I got a race. Oh, nope, I see him. I see him. The man desperate to get out of the airport off of planes. A truck! I brought all these people for you! Help <laughs> me! What's up, man? Let's get out of here. Yeah, right. I got him! The eagle has landed! The eagle has Freedom! Freedom! So I'm sorry I'm pointing at you with my camera, but this is. This is how it goes? How we do. Okay. <laughs> I'm Chloe, and nice Chloe, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, welcome on board. Oh, thanks. I thought. I thought. I thought. Yeah. No, it's okay, enough. Close enough. Right, yeah. maybe, maybe we'll catch on as we go on. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Oh, 
Oh my god, she looks even tinier in your arms. Oh, hey there. Oh, oh, that's so good oh, to see you, see you a long time. Oh, I'm so excited to be here, she guys. Do you think you fit in that bed? Yeah. yeah. I gave you the biggest one, it's like two inches good. Oh, let's see. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Easy? Well, Just no, no. <laughs> maybe not. No. no. <laughs> Barely. Here, we'll put your head this way a little bit. <laughs> and then you put your yeah. finger there. It's six foot. There and we go. You fit. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. It's all good. Tune in next time as we dive deep into the underwater history of the world famous Iron Bottom Sound. I would be looking at you or looking at the camera, but your boobs are like hanging out. This is like every time I even look at the camera, it's just a fucking face full of boobs. So I'm trying to just look that way. <laughs> That's the truth if you want. <laughs> yeah. This is back. Yes. I get some slow mo. Slow mo. Up. Okay. Look like um, Jenna have Jones. you ever seen a TV show called uh, Home Improvement? Oh, what the oh, hell? Yeah, <laughs> I've <laughs> never <laughs> seen her this tired. This is, this is <laughs> level 11. This is the most tired. This is level she's 11. Ever been. <laughs> How many? Is, is she alive? <laughs> is she breathing? Maybe is she breathing? Yes. How many times did you make her spin around for you? <laughs> Look at this pig! <laughs> Look at this pig! Look at her mouth is hanging open. Her mouth is hanging. Like her lips are hanging. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I'm like worried about her. Yeah. Oh is she okay? That's funny, but I'm worried. Maybe is she okay? Maybe she's okay. Are you sure? You okay? Peanut? Peanut. Yeah, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, no, no. no she's okay. okay. She's okay. <laughs> Look at her. She's fine. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? Wake up, pig. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the... Oh, sweet. She's just tired, huh? No. Peter, the guy who Ocean and I met earlier, um, he gave us this and he was saying that, that the next time he sees us after we catch the rat, that we'll have a little rat running around on a leash with Peanut and it'll be like the brother of Peanut. Simba!